How's it going everybody? Expat Stacker and today I'm coming to you with not one, not two, but three unboxings. Alright? So while I'm getting these boxes opened up, um, and by the way, this box I believe is the first one um, in the in the sequence of uh, all of these orders. This was uh, not really supposed to be on pre-order, but kind of realized it was later. Um, and it took a while to get here. So um, anyway, while I'm talking, I want to uh, go ahead and uh, give a shout out to one channel, Chris in SoCal. Go ahead and go over, check out his channel, which I will leave a link in the uh, description of this video too. Um... Cool channel, great guy, really nice guy, and lots of cool, unique bullion there, and uh, interesting perspectives. So this first unboxing is coming from my normal source, KP Mex. The other two are from somewhere else, um, but let's go ahead and get into these. Now, uh, the first thing I'm going to show here is uh, when I... Um, introduce something new to my stack and that is these um, beautiful uh, 2020 uh, Australian kangaroos these are my first two kangaroos they're coming in bags which is kind of interesting um, but uh, yeah they are sealed in these bags so that is very interesting so let's just take a look at them I'm not going to take them out of the bags yet I do have a, a tube ready to go for these um, but I'm not going to take these out of the bag yet because it doesn't take long for coins to tarnish so let's just look at them in the bag before I get them into the tube like I said these are my first um, Australian kangaroos um, beautiful coin and it's interesting um, I was watching one of uh, Florida stackers videos and he had ordered some of these as well which were also not supposed to be on pre-order but they came to him as if they were on pre-order I uh, got a beautiful uh, Jody Clark effigy of the Queen uh, here um, so that same thing happened to me with kangaroo, so I'm just wondering if maybe, um, you know, the demand and everything has been obviously crazy this year, and I'm just wondering if, uh, you know, Australia is getting hit pretty hard right now, so I'm wondering if that had something to do with it, because Florida Stacker and I are obviously in two different countries, purchasing from different sources, but uh, we had a similar experience, so. Anyway, uh, beautiful coin here. Um... Let's go ahead and get into the tube. The reason I'm picking up these kangaroos is because um, I wanted to introduce something new to my stack because uh, American Silver Eagles, the premiums have been extremely high and I wanted to go for something with a little lower premium. But that was before the price of silver skyrocketed. Um, so just get one quick look at it outside of the bag there very nice looking coin um, so now um, the kangaroos the price of the kangaroos is uh, actually higher than the price of the Eagles that I was buying earlier this year now the price the spot price has dipped a little bit in the past couple of days some people are calling this a uh, retreating or the price is pulling back but i would not personally i mean that can that depends on what your uh, definition of those terms means but to me a pullback isn't a pullback unless it's prolonged so if we see a prolonged pullback in the spot price and by prolonged i'm talking like a few months um then i'll consider that to be a pullback but if it's only for a few days or a few weeks then i'm just gonna call that a dip but anyways the price of these is now actually more expensive than the eagles that i was purchasing earlier in the year earlier in the year the eagles were expensive because of the premiums and 
Um, now all the silver bullion coins are expensive because the spot price has skyrocketed. So, but uh, I am not upset about that at all. And um, I'm also not upset about the recent dip in the prices. Um, and I got one other thing from this order. And this I have been talking um, to <laughs> Golden Gun about recently because uh, he showed similar um, coin in one of his videos, which is this. And um, I mean, it's from this series, actually. He has the 2020 gold version of this. And when I saw this... Uh, in his video it was the same day that I ordered this um, so I thought that was a little bit of a you know, interesting coincidence um, I don't think this capsule is actually the right capsule for this um, bar coin because it's slipping and sliding around this is more of a capsule for just a like a different size one ounce bar obviously you can see that the capsule is different this is the correct capsule you can see it doesn't slide around in here this is sliding around, so this is not the right capsule. So a little bit disappointed, but anyways, yeah. We got this, and um, capsule is wrong, but I don't really care, actually. Um, another ounce of silver, and one of my favorite series of all times. So, um, we'll just go ahead and uh, leave these here as we get into the next unboxing. So we got three ounces of silver here, uh, two kangaroos, and one... Uh, Earth Mint Dragon Coin Bar. All right, so let's get to the next unboxing. Now, I don't know which of the two boxes I ordered first, but uh, we'll just go ahead and get into this unboxing as well. Um, this one comes from a source that I recently did an unboxing for as well, which is Punsan Padong Yahin. So, uh, let's go ahead and show you that real quick. Punsang Hwadong Yahing. And um, for this, I this source, I showed this in my top five bullion dealers in Korea video. Okay, actually, I want to show this, what's in this box next. So, I'll show this later. Let me open up this box. This other third box for now, because what's in the box that I just opened, I want to show later. I want to show it last. In my opinion, it's the best, so save the best for last, right? All right, so let's get into this box. This is also from Pungchan Hwadong Yahing, and um, really liking their... their uh, there's stuff recently, and I'm probably going to have to boost them up in my, uh, where I rank them. Okay, so, let's see here. All right, okay. This is good. This is good. I'm glad we got this. All right, so, what we have here is uh, 125th um, gold Austrian Philharmonic. Um, I recently got a 110th ounce gold Philharmonic, and I liked it a lot. Um, and then I saw these, um, so I went ahead and decided to pick these up. Um, it's got a denomination of four euros, and um, although they say it's a one twenty fifth, um, it's actually one point two four four grams of gold. So just one and a quarter grams, basically. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little beautiful piece of gold. Um, and um, by the way, you know me, I always love to give shout outs to other channels. And um, I want you guys to go over and check out Austrian Stacker's uh, video, uh, his channel. Really great, really nice channel. And the guy is awesome. I love him. Um, what's up, Austrian Stacker? All right, uh, so I got one and two of these. And by the way, I ordered um, capsules for these. I don't really like the uh, cards, the square cards that they come in here, but three, um, four, all right, four. 
got four of those. So if this is 1.244 grams of gold each, then this is basically five grams right here, right? Because one, two, three, four, plus a quarter for each one of them. So five grams of gold. I got another one here. So this is the fifth one, All right? And then here's what I wanted to show you. Um, or anyway, here's what I wanted to uh, wait to show you in the third box that I just opened, which is this, which is more 125th gold pieces. And uh, this is a tube of 20, 20 125th gold pieces here. So um, I got. 25 1 25th pieces of fractional gold and um, I'm very happy with this um, although gold recently uh, is doing a little bit of a dip uh, I don't mind um, because this is fractional anyway so you're gonna pay up for it anyways and um, I like that design there so, um, I want to ask you guys. So, Yankee Cannon has, uh, I believe it's a tube of one ounce gold American Eagles. And now I have a tube of <laughs> one, uh, 20, 20, 1 25th, 2020. That's, that's a tongue twister. Try to say that. Gold Philharmonics. So, what should I call this? The Expat Slingshot? Uh expat bow and arrow um what should i call this i i would like to call it the expat sniper rifle because yankee cannon has his cannon if he if he ever gets into trouble he can just blow the trouble up out of the water but why i got this i actually want to visualize for you guys all right so what i'm gonna do is how this this ounce of fractional gold fits in with the rest of my stack I want to visualize for you guys. So I'm going to uh, just be right back and you'll see. Alright guys, so this is uh, one way how I kind of uh, envision my stack. Um, yeah, life is not a game like chess, but uh, there are some similarities. Um, and I think one of the reasons why people like chess is because it involves strategy and decision making and you're faced with unexpected problems um, and you have to uh, figure out how to deal with them so um, I kind of look at my stack in a, in a similar way there are different pieces which have different abilities um, different characteristics and I'll be able to use them in different ways so um, you know for example uh, by the way this is the uh, 2020 gold uh, coin bar from the Perth Mint um, that I was talking about earlier that um, uh, Golden Gun was showing off on his channel but um, for example uh, this piece here and um, the other um, two full ounces that I have in my stack um, from the same series are uh, they have a limited mintage and um, they're full ounces and they're part of a series. So that gives them a little bit of uh, unique characteristics um, as compared to a coin like this, which is a one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. Um, I think this is a 2019, maybe 2018. Um, anyways, um, this is a, a very well recognized coin, standard sovereign bullion. Um, and uh, this is also not four nines fine, um, but this is, um, and this is one tenth ounce. So this is a half ounce right here, um, but this is also the same uh, standard American Gold Eagle bullion coin, except for this is a half ounce, and this is from 2020. So this has different uh, abilities and characteristics um, that I can use to my advantage, um, depending on the circumstances that I find myself in. Um, this right here is in an assay card, 
And this is also a government minted bullion. However, it does not have a dollar denomination like um, everything else you see here. Um, so that also gives it some unique characteristics and properties. And it's also um, numbered here. It's numbered 67, which is a pretty low number. Um, and these have a low mintage to begin with anyway. It has a unique security feature. This is also a one tenth ounce. So uh, the point here is, guys, these are all different pieces. They all have different um, characteristics and abilities. They all come from different countries. Um, so I wanted to add these 125, 125th ounce coins. Um, by the way, here is the 1 tenth ounce version of the Philharmonic. And I was debating whether or not to um, uh, pick up this one. Sorry, it was upside down there. There's a tube of uh, 2 ounces worth of these 1 tenth coins versus this uh, tube right here of these 125th coins. Um, and I had to decide. This is not a full ounce by itself, but by adding these other 5 125th ounce, just to give you a size comparison, you can see how small they are. Um, just by picking up these additional 5 125th ounce gold Austrian Philharmonics, I was able to make a full ounce of 125th because I wanted to have the ability to sell um, fractional pieces. And based on what I believe, even with the recent dip, again, I'm going to call it a dip. If you disagree with me, that's fine. I, I don't mind. Um, I'm, I'm not saying I'm right. And uh, if I turn out to be wrong and this dip does turn into a retreat in the price, that's fine. Um, I don't mind. But over the long term, which is what I'm stacking for, I believe that gold is going to continue to increase in the price. And so therefore, I want to be able to have uh, the ability to liquidate. Um, now, this actually is my full gold stack in front of you. And uh, I have not done any full stack videos. The reason why I'm showing this to you is because recently I've seen um, on inefficient sticker, inefficient sticker, inefficient stackers uh, channel that he did a 100 pieces of gold challenge. And I also saw the same thing on Austrian stackers channel. And I thought this is an interesting challenge to go with. So um, I'm going to remove these two uh, coins because I've talked about in the past uh, that they belong to my children and i'm also going to remove this britannia because i gave this to my wife so i'm not going to be counting this as part of the 100 pieces however although i wasn't directly challenged i think it's a very cool challenge and um, now that i just added 25 pieces of uh, gold to my stack uh yeah it gets me a quarter of the way there plus my existing stack as it were so um I'm going to uh, accept the uh, 100 pieces of gold challenge. Um, I'm not really going to let it af affect the way that I um, purchase gold um, or what I decide to buy. Um, uh, you might be thinking, oh, sure, you just picked up 25 you know, pieces of gold. And so you're not going to let it affect you on your <laughs> way to a 100 piece challenge. That's right, I'm not going to. It's a coincidence, and yeah, it helps, but um, yeah, I didn't do that because I'm accepting this challenge. Um, if you want to think that, that's okay. Um, but I do think it would be an interesting challenge, and I'm not just going to buy only very small fractional pieces of gold. That way I can just get to 100 as fast as possible. I actually hope that the journey takes me longer. Um, for me, that means more videos. It means more fun. I love getting new pieces to the stack. Who doesn't? Um, another thing that uh, Golden Gun said that I love is, it's gold, baby. Who doesn't love gold? It's gold, baby. Gold is gold. And it is. Um, I love gold and silver. Um, and so I'm not in a, a race. This is not a 100-piece race. And even if it was, I would have already lost. So um, 
to me, this is just a challenge and a journey. And, um, you know, I, I'm excited to do this. I was kind of debating in my head whether I want to do this because I do take stacking pretty seriously for myself. Um, this is for my family's safety and security, as you probably heard me say in other videos. Um, and, you know, stacking uh, 100 pieces of gold kind of almost makes it a little bit like a game. Um, but, you know, kind of like the way I'm showing my stack right here, although it's on a game board, this chess board, um, there are similarities between real life and games um, and challenges. Um, so I don't mind uh, adding that element to my stacking. Um, and I'm excited to be on my way to 100 pieces of gold. And uh, just one other quick thing I don't want to neglect. Um, with this visualization of how I see my stack, you know, silver definitely also plays a role. I don't want to neglect silver at all. Um, I'm going to make a video coming up shortly about how the way I see gold and silver working together. I've seen a lot of videos about the gold to silver ratio and ratio trades and things like this. I'm going to share my thoughts on that coming up soon uh, in another video, but that's for another video. For this video, let's now count how many pieces of gold I have to start my 100 pieces of gold challenge. Okay, so first of all, I have 20 one, two, three, four, five pieces of 125th gold, uh, as we've seen. So that's 25. And then for the 10th ounces, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And like I said, I'm removing um, these uh, three pieces here because they belong to members of my family, not me. Um, although, you know, all of this really is all of ours but i'm i'm going to not include that in this hundred piece challenge because when i for example when i gave this to my wife um i told her that it's hers so you know if she wanted to sell it or something then she can it's hers so 25 pieces and one two three four five six pieces of one tenth ounce so 25 plus six is 31 and then I have two half ounce pieces, uh, two half ounce 2020 gold eagles that I picked up earlier this year. So 31, 32, 33, okay. And then I have three of these coin bars. So that makes 36, all right. So let's just re review that math real quick. One, two, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, okay? 36 pieces of gold, so I'm 36% of the way there. Most of it came from today's unboxing, <laughs> all right? So, um, guys, if you're curious about my thoughts about the recent um, dip in the price, uh, I'm not worried about it. I'm going to continue to stack. Um I kind of wish I had made a few purchases a few days later, but hey, that's the game. You know, I just made a, um, not too long ago, I, right before this recent surge in prices, I picked up a one kilo bar. And um, now that bar costs, you know, almost $300 more than when I picked it up. Um, so, you know, that's the point of dollar cost averaging um, and picking your shots, you know. Um, I really didn't... Um, and I still don't think that this is a pullback. I think it's a little temporary dip. Um, but we'll see, you know. Like I said, if it's prolonged, then then I'll admit that uh, what I thought was going to happen was wrong. But um, either way, guys, I don't really actually care. Um, because uh, this is gold. Gold is gold, baby. And uh, silver. Silver is silver. So I'm going to continue to stack them. And, you know, like I said in a, in a previous video, when the roller coaster is going up, it moves a little bit more slowly. And that's how I tend to uh, stack as well. Uh, when the price is increasing, I tend to back off a little bit. Uh, but when uh, the price is going down, I tend to pull the trigger a little bit more. Um, and I think I've done that pretty well this year. I'm going to, uh, with this recent dip, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more, um, kangaroos, silver kangaroos. 
Um, my strategy for the rest of the year has been to add um, 10 ounce of gold and a couple pieces of silver as a baseline every month. Obviously, I exceeded that this month, um, and this helps me to far surpass my gold goal for the year. So I'm going to be focusing on finishing off my silver goal for the year and um, probably working on this um, 100 pieces of gold challenge. I don't have any um, quarter ounce pieces of gold, as you may have noticed. Um, and uh, there's a couple of other things that I got my eye on right now relative to the price. So, guys, um, I hope that you enjoyed the video. What I would like is for you to help me come up with a name for this. I Before I show this um, chessboard here, I told you that I'm, I'm thinking about the name expat sniper rifle and that's because a sniper rifle is very targeted uh, it's not super powerful or big or amazing it's not a tank it's not a cannon but it can do uh exactly what you need it to do you know uh at a targeted precise moment and that's what i believe this is going to do for me uh in the future so let me know what you think a good name for this would be and also let me know uh, what you think about uh, my recent pickups here with these 125th ounce uh, pieces and let me know what you think is going on with the spot price of gold and silver do you think this is just a little dip or do you think that this is actually a pullback and it's going to be prolonged um, and uh, let me know what you think about the 100 pieces of gold challenge and my full gold stack um, all right guys this is the expat stacker. I'll catch you on the flip side.